Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we will finally start writing some code into this function which is handle start tag function. So in the previous lecture we have written this code and this code is to basically initialize the things in a particular class and this is to actually handle the error and the main part of this class actually lies in this function which is handle start tag function right here. So what this handle start tag function does is that it basically handles the start tag which is nothing but the starting HTML tags and the reason why we only deal with starting HTML tags is because only the starting HTML tags are going to contain some useful information. So right now from this useful information we are only interested in finding information related to links. So what we need to do here is that we need to actually extract those tags where we have a particular link. So in case of HTML, whenever we have a tag, it actually stands for a link. So if you already know about HTML, that is if you already have some basic knowledge about HTML, you know that actually a tag stands for a link. So what we do is that we make a condition like if uh, let's say tag is equal equal to a, that means we actually got our thing. And now once we have this thing, what we need to do is that we need to loop through that tag and look for URLs. So what you do is that you type in for, then you type in attribute. So the attribute is basically uh, what you could say a type of tag which you have. And then you have the value stored in that particular attribute. So you type attribute comma value. So you look for this attribute comma value pair in ATTRS which is nothing but this at attribute right here. So, okay, so once this thing is done, what we do is that we check if the attribute is equal to href. So we type if attribute is equal to href. That means what we want to do is that we actually want to join the base URL with that particular value and make it into a complete URL. So what I mean by that is whenever you're actually crawling a particular web page, you will find sub URLs and those URLs are not actually the complete URL. So you actually need to find in the complete URL along with the base URL. So what you need to do is that you need to form a URL variable, which is going to be a complete URL. So you type URL equals sparse dot URL join. So URL join is actually a function which is going to join the base URL with the value which is nothing but the sub URL. So you could type in self dot base URL comma value. And once this thing is done, what you need to do is that you need to add that URL to the links set which we have. So we type self dot links and to this we add in the URLs. So we type dot add URL. So once we have the complete URL, we basically add it to the link set. So right now we will have a bunch of URLs in the link set, which we could use. So once this thing is done, we are done with this function right here. So now let's create one more function, which is basically called as the page links function. So in order to define the page links function, what we do is that we type in def page links and this is going to accept self as a parameter and it is basically going to return the links. So we type return self dot links. So once this thing is done, we are pretty much good to go. So that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, what we are going to do is that we are actually going to create a new file, which is called as a spider. And what spider is, is essentially it's actually a crawler. So we are going to learn how the spider is actually going to work. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.